Hi guys, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about reflection symmetry. So what is reflection? Reflection is the throwing back of heat, light or sound. For example, when you look in a mirror or water, you see a reflection of yourself. Here is a square and as you can see, I've drawn dotted lines on it. If we fold the square along the dotted lines and the two sides perfectly overlap, then the figure is said to have reflection symmetry and the dotted line is said to be the axis of symmetry. Let's start with the square. Let's fold the square in different ways along the different dotted lines. Let's start by folding it vertically. As you can see, the two sides of the square overlap perfectly along the dotted line. Hence, the figure shows reflection symmetry and the dotted line is an axis of symmetry. The same happens when we fold the figure diagonally. As you saw, the square has many different axes of symmetry. Let's start with the second shape and fold the shape along the dotted line. When I do this, both the sides of the shape overlap perfectly. This means that the dotted line is an axis of symmetry and the figure shows vertical reflection symmetry. For our third shape, we'll again fold it along the vertical line Oh, but the two sides don't overlap perfectly. This means that the figure does not show vertical reflection of symmetry. But when folded horizontally, it folds perfectly and overlaps each other. Let's start with the fourth shape. When we fold the figure along the vertical dotted line, the two sides do not overlap. This means that the figure does not show reflection symmetry. Bye guys!